Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will discuss on some very important uh, problems of partition function, okay, in statistical mechanics. So, in our Maxwell Boltzmann statistics, we know that if we have two distinct energy levels like this, and suppose this is uh, epsilon 1, this is epsilon 2, the energy of the two uh, energy states, then we know that the I am not going to derive all the formulas, I am just uh, writing the formulas and then coming to the problems, okay. So, Ni is equal to, Ni means the number of particles in any given state. Here I can be 1, 2, 3, 4, anything, okay. So, the number of particles in ith energy state is equals to, in i is equals to some constant a into e to the power minus beta into epsilon i, where beta is equals to what? Beta is equals to 1 by kt, k is Boltzmann's constant, okay. Now, so the total particle, total number of particles will be what? Thus, summation, if we have, uh, if the energy levels are not continuous, if the energy levels are discrete energy levels, then we have to use the summation sign to find the total number of particles. So, summation over Ni will be, A will be taken outside as this is a constant and summation of e to the power minus beta epsilon i. Now, this quantity, this quantity is known the z, that means which is known as uh, the partition function. This is the partition function. Now, now, what do you, what will be, suppose you are asked that, uh, what will be the number of particles or the fraction of particles for any given state, suppose this state, or the probability of finding a particle, the probability of finding particles in this state, in this given state, epsilon 2 or second exercise state, then what will be the answer? So, probability means the number of particles in that state, Ni, divided by the total number of particles, that gives us the probability or the fraction of molecules, okay, probability or the fraction of molecules. So, from here, you can easily understand that the probability of finding the particle in the second excited state, suppose, is it will be what? Just n2, that means a e to the power minus beta epsilon 2 divided by the partition function into a, this thing, right? So, a will be cancelled out and this will be only e to the power minus beta epsilon 2 divided by z. Okay. Suppose we have two energy levels like this, 2 electron volt and 3 electron volt and the number of particles in the, in this energy level is equals to 100. So, we have to find the number of particles in 2, that is the number of particles in this given state. So, what we, how can we do that? So, from here I can write that in 1, so, uh, suppose this, this is in 1, right? So, n2 divided by n1, n2 by n1 will be what? Will be just equals to A will be just cancelled out as this is the constant as we are finding the ratio. So, e to the power minus 3 beta divided by e to the power minus 2 beta, right? So, uh, and n1 is what? n1 is 100. So, this will be 100. So, n2 equals equals to 100 into e to the power minus so 1 by kBT, right? So, we have got the answer. Now, if you are asked to find the average energy of this system, then how can you calculate that? Now, the average energy similar to the uh, concept of quantum mechanics, the average energy will be what? The, uh, the summation uh, as this is discrete system, otherwise we have to just integrate summation pi into epsilon i. Pi is what the probability, okay. So, this will be what uh, before uh, some time I have, uh, I have discussed what is probability that is the fraction of particles, right. So, this will be uh, this will be like this, this is the partition function and above this will be epsilon i into e to the power minus beta epsilon i. Now, this quantity you can easily understand that this quantity is what the probability and this is epsilon i. Now, here is a summation. You have to find this quantity. So, how can you find that? So, this is epsilon. We have to just break this summation sign. Okay. So, first I am just uh, writing the partition function e to the power minus partition function was what? E summation e to the power minus beta epsilon i, right? So, we have to break the summation. That means e to the power minus beta epsilon 
plus e to the power minus 2 beta epsilon plus e to the power minus 3 beta epsilon and above will be epsilon e to the power minus beta epsilon plus 2 epsilon e to the power minus 2 beta epsilon plus So this is the average energy of this system right now one another method to find the average energy is like this you have to find the minus del del beta of ln z so if you find this quantity then you can come with the same result okay so this is an another process now coming to the next problem suppose you have this type of configuration that means the ground state or the epsilon, the state of energy epsilon is triply degenerate and the uh, two epsilon state is doubly degenerate okay now you have to find the probability of finding the particle in the second excess state so what will be that so the probability p suppose uh, as this state is doubly degenerate right then we have to just to put here 2 okay 2 into e to the power and other things is same e to the power minus 2 beta epsilon and uh, in the denominator there will be the partition function z and here the partition function will be 3 into e to the power minus beta epsilon plus 2 e to the power minus 2 beta epsilon I think you can understand this now just calculating this this will be 3 e to the power beta epsilon plus 2 e to the power 2 okay now our next problem is a system consists of n non-interacting particles with possible energy states 0 and epsilon the total number of total energy the total energy e of the system we have to find the total energy of the system now this is n number of non interactive particles given and the energy states are 0 and epsilon so 0 and epsilon n number of non interactive particles that means we have to first find the average energy and then we will just multiply it with the total number of particles that is given n then as average energy means what average energy okay energy per unit particle that means average energy like this so if we multiply that with the total number of particles then we will find the total energy of the system so average energy will be what of this system 0 plus epsilon e to the power minus beta epsilon divided by 1 plus e to the power minus beta epsilon right so multiplying it with n we will get the total energy e total will be what n epsilon e to the power minus beta epsilon divided by 1 plus e to the power minus beta epsilon so this is our answer our next problem a harmonic oscillator with e n e levels that means energy levels e n is equals to n plus a half h cut omega in thermal contact with a heat bath uh, at temperature t what is the ratio of probability of the oscillator being in first excited to state to second excited state that means the probability of first excited state to second excited state that means p1 by p2 we have to find the p1 divided by p2 right so uh, we know that in harmonic oscillator what are the uh, energy states h cut omega the ground state is h cut omega by 2 and the uh, first excited state is 3 by 2 h cut omega right that means the energy difference you can easily understand that is h cut omega so this is the energy difference that means the probability as the probability is what the e to the power minus beta epsilon i divided by z so z will be cancelled out as this is the ratio so only term will be present here will be e to the power minus beta epsilon i that means e to the power minus uh, p1 that means this minus h cut omega divided by 2 kt and here will be e to the power minus 3 h cut omega divided by 2 kt if we calculate this we will get will be e to the power minus h cut omega divided by kt so this is our answer our next problem consider a diatomic molecule with infinite number of equally spaced 
non degenerate levels the spacing between only two adjacent levels is epsilon and the ground state energy is suppose zero then we have to find the partition function so the partition function will be what here we have infinite number of energy levels right and the ground state energy is zero and the uh, these are equally spaced that means the energy difference between the two adjacent levels is always what epsilon right mm, epsilon so this the energy difference is epsilon so we know the partition function z is equals to so partition function will be what e to the power zero into i e to the power zero uh, beta into zero that means e to the power zero means one so one plus e to the power minus beta epsilon plus e to the power minus two beta epsilon so you can understand that the difference is what epsilon now the next term will be e to the power minus three beta epsilon and this in this way this will be there will be infinite number of terms so this is a uh, infinite series so the sum will be just the first term that's one divided by one minus a by or one by one minus e to the power the difference that is the ratio that means e to the power uh, minus beta epsilon so this is the partition function so share this video with your friends and if you are new to this channel then subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of my upcoming videos so take care of yourself thanks for watching